I'm standing in front of the Dominator 3, the ultimate storm chasing vehicle. It's an armored tank-like vehicle that's custom built to get close, if not inside tornadoes, to measure scientific data that other people can't safely collect. And it does have a hydraulic system that can drop this aerodynamic outer shell flush to the ground, and then harpoons go into the ground as well to fasten it, anchor it to the ground as the tornado passes overhead. rocket system for the Dominator with the pan and tilt capability. This is Curtis Brooks who built this system from scratch. Okay, so this is the pan, or the tilt, sorry. And it's rather slow going down, but we want accuracy on this one. We'll go anywhere from 90 degrees straight up, a little bit down to about 30 degrees. Then we can also adjust it 180 left to right to get the rockets exactly where we want them. This nose cone comes out. This part will be lost, and the nose cone is carried on this nylon parachute. Inside the nose cone is going to be our sensor pack inside there. So in the back of the Dominator, you have all these seats with the safety harnesses attached. And when we're approaching that tornado, we'll have to use our uh, rocket launch system with pan and tilt capability to shoot those rockets toward the tornado. There you can see that launch pad. What do you got going on here? Just finishing the install on the road shower here. So you got all these clamps on now. I just need to screw them in. And then we'll fill it up and give it a test. What's it for? For showering out of the vehicle while we're on the road. Uh, in parking lots? Yeah, parking lots, uh, back roads. What instruments do you have in the back here? I've got the uh, Arm Young anemometer here. Then we've got a marine style GPS tied into that that corrects our um, speed in our direction so we can get a proper reading if we're close to a tornado. Uh, our Stevenson screen here houses our temperature, humidity, dew point um, sensors. And then we've got our Garmin GPS for elevation. high base storm here just to the east of Lamar, Colorado. You can see that the moisture has not really arrived yet ahead of this system because the base or the updraft base of this storm is really high up in the atmosphere. We call this high base, low top type of storm. 